What we're going to do is we're going to talk about a fascia iliaca block in a child who's got a femur fracture. This poor child was run into by a schoolmate and you can see just looking at his leg that he has an obvious femur fracture here. And what we're going to do is we're going to put a block in him that's going to numb that area up and give him some pain relief. The way the fascia iliaca block works is it's not an actual nerve block as much as a field block where what you do is we're going to put a, uh, an injection of bupivacaine into the fascial plane that forms the femoral nerve. It actually is going to block him up here rather than here at the femoral nerve itself. Now you can also block these guys right at the femoral nerve itself and that'll work just fine. But in his case, this seems to work a little bit better. We're going to use bupivacaine and the dose of bupivacaine is um, between two and four milligrams per kilogram. We're going to err on the little bit on the lower side and we're taking 0.5 percent bupivacaine and diluting it down to 0.25 uh, percent bupivacaine. And the reason for that is it gives us a little bit more volume which helps when you're doing a field block as opposed to just a um, regular injection in these people. If you're doing the block directly on the nerve itself it's usually better to use uh, a higher dose of the bupivacaine. What we do is you can see him marked down. What you're looking for is the space between the anterior uh, iliac spine here, the iliac crest right here, and then the lateral border of the pubic symphysis. You want to go two-thirds of the way out. So this is the pubic symphysis. This is the iliac crest. And we've marked it two-thirds of the way out. And then you want to go about two finger breasts down. This is the artery we have marked here. And this is where we're going to go in. There's a spot there, but then when we cleaned it, it kind of got... Um, diluted out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to prep this area again and put a little bit of lidocaine right in the skin there and that's going to tell us exactly where we're going to go. So we're going to numb the skin and then after we've numbed the skin then what we're going to do is raise a little wheel and we'll go from there. And what you can see is we've kind of smeared our dot all over the place because of um, numbing the area with the chloroprep or cleaning the area with the chloroprep. I'm going to go about two finger breaths down so I'm going to go right in about here. So the first thing I'm going to do is raise a little bit of a wheel for this poor guy. A little pinch. He's doing very good. Okay. And now the wheel is raised, so we're going to clean that area a little bit more. Because I know where we're going. And then once we've got it cleaned, we're going to put his block in. Okay. All right, now that we've got him numbed a little bit and the area's been cleaned, what we're going to do is put the block in. The way you do this is you're looking to feel for the, a blunt needle to go through two fascial planes. So the first thing we want to do is go through the skin with a sharp needle. So what I'm doing is going through with a sharp needle, and he should not feel this at all. So I poked a little hole in the skin there, and then what I'm going to do is use a blunt needle, and we're going to feel two pops. First pop, second pop. Okay, and now I'm going to inject Ubipivacaine, and we shouldn't feel any resistance at all as we inject this. I'm feeling a little bit of resistance. So I'm just going to reposition them a little bit. And now we're getting no resistance at all as we inject. I put a little bit of pressure distal to it so that it runs more up cephalad than anywhere else. Okay. And his bupivacaine is in. Okay, so we'll rub it around a little bit. And you can see there's no wheel at all here, so everything went into the fascial plane and up into his um, into his leg. We aspirate so we make sure there's you're not in any arteries or anything like that. But there's clearly no no vessels here because your artery is over here. All right, and we'll put a band-aid on there, and in a couple minutes his leg should be numb. And this is what the patient's fracture looks like after it was 
reduced following placement of the fascia iliaca block. And you can see the ends are very nicely approximated on this. And you can also see the metal from the hair splint that the patient was placed in.